Well, here we are, everyone. The last episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Man, I have been putting 70 plus hours into this amazing game. And oh my gosh, it's been so awesome. The whole journey has been great. And I can't wait to finish it off for you guys. I did kill all the cultists except for, you know, the Ghost of Cosmos. And I'm really curious to see who it is and who's like been the leader of all this. So that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support on this series. It has really and truly meant a lot to me. You guys are the best and only Assassination family. And thank you so much, guys, for 1,600 subscribers again. I can't thank you enough. And as always, guys, let's continue onward and forward with this amazing game. So now we gotta talk to our mom right here. There she is. Hey! What up, mama? My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. We must kill him in battle. And what of my daughter? Demos might be dead. Demos might be alive. It was just an arrow, right? Yeah. Cleon fired an arrow into Demos's back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mother. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me. Once and for all. I'm coming with you. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Escort Marini to the cliff's edge. Well, it looks like she's escorting me, honestly. <laughs> Look how fast she's going, man. Jeez. Alrighty, then. I'm so excited, man. We made it. We finally made it! Yes! Oh, baby. <gasps> Who's that? This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Is that... That's Demos! That's Cassandra! <gasps> Cassandra! On the edge of the world... A mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra, please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family. Home. <laughs> My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. The cult is using you. You don't need the cult. This one. 
You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Come on, Cassandra! Is that the root? Cassandra! <clears throat> when I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. And my destiny is clear. No. I won't let you get in my way. I don't want to fight you. No. Cassandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once. And I failed. I won't fail again. Oh, man. Please. I'm not fighting her, am I? I'm not killing her. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna kill her. Come on. Yes! We all have Cassandra. I know. Yes! Lexius, wait. Thank you. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Thank God! That's already a good ending, alright? Wow, but it's not over yet, guys. The Ghost of Cosmos remains. <gasps> the Father! He's here too! Oh shoot! Vimos, why don't we go hunting tomorrow? I just thought... It's a good idea. And she's good at it, obviously. Sounds like fun. Ah. 
I have a smile on my face right now. The biggest grin. Oh, man. I hope we see present story, too. Soon. I know it's coming. I bet it's a secret ending. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could. But it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. I did this myself. The gods are watching us. Yeah. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special. Look at the life they've blessed you with. Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Heck yeah, man. Oh, wow. I can use Demos and the crew now. Demos has joined the assassination, everyone. Heck yeah. New quest is We Remember. Okay, so we gotta meet uh, Socrates in the cemetery of Athens. Let's do it, guys. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. This is epic, guys. I'm a level 57, by the way. Heck yeah. I wonder what it goes to. Does it go to 60? I don't even know. Uh-oh. Are you kidding? Really? There had to be one more wolf. Wow. Alright, we made it. <sighs> Phoebe. Oh, no. She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Alexios, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. I wish I'd known Pericles better. Pericles had his reasons. If only he had shared this burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? Aww. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, nice, back here. Well, this is 
please supply me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Alexios took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see. That would suit a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, to progress, to Athens. To us. To us, who have persisted through everything. And to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Hear, hear. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nope. Sorry. Ain't happening, fam. I'm smiling all throughout this. This is just amazing. We made it. We did it. It's the longest Assassin's Creed game ever, ever. Honestly, ever. Quest completed, we remember. All right, what's next? Is that it? Because if that's it, it's time, everyone. It's time for the final countdown. That's right, the, a fresh start. It's time to take out the Cult of Cosmos once and for all. And we've actually completed everything. Now, let's see who's behind the mask of it all. The Ghost of Cosmos. The Ghost is a liar. The Ghost is a woman, obviously. The Ghost planned the death of Pericles. The Ghost controls both sides of the war. The Ghost longs for freedom. Is planning to herald in a new era. Uses faith in the gods to manipulate all and controls Athenian politics. And the ghost is none other than... You've seen it yourself. The future <gasps> belongs to us now. Old gods and new be praised. Are you kidding me? Aspasia? No way. Yo, I'm in shock right now. What? That makes sense why she didn't show up for the party. Oh my goodness. Really? Wow. Daughter of mighty Ancheos of Miletos. Came to wealth and power in the most unlikely of ways. By falling in love. But even having dominion over Pericles in the hearts and minds of all Athenians would not be enough. Her ambition demanded more. To know all. To rule all. Anything less would not be good enough. Wow. Holy crap, guys. I'm shocked. No, yeah, I'm really shocked. Well, with that being said, guys, it's time to enter the Cult of Cosmos' lair. And take Aspasia down! So let's do this! So Aspasia got Phoebe killed on purpose! Wow! Unbelievable, man. Okay, she's gonna pay for this. She is going down, guys. Ooh, she's gonna get assassinated so good! All right, and we made it, everyone. We're here. We had a fast travel point. All right, so enter the Cult of Cosmos' lair. This is basically back in sequence three. Oh, shoot, son. Here we go. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. Bring it on, Aspasia. You will pay for your crimes. You'll pay for what you did to my sister. And you'll pay for what you did to Phoebe. Oh, I'm ready. Come on. Oh, 
Approach the pyramid. Oh, baby. Come on. Marine? Wait, what? Marine is here? Oh, shoot. Here we go, guys. Alexios, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, <gasps> there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. Oh! But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Alexios. You need to be the hero again. Oh my goodness! That was sick! The flashbacks! <laughs> so, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your sister came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. I can't believe you're one of them. Malaka. So you are after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. This was a risky move. You meant no harm. Really? <laughs> Love? You're just like them. Yeah. You're all the same. Selfish and fucking destructive. It was different in the beginning. It wasn't about destruction. It was about redirection. I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades. And we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Themos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. 
and I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. You betrayed his trust. Better to keep him ignorant. Didn't she kill him? She planned his death, right? That's what I saw. He trusted you. And in the end, you didn't protect him. Maybe he'd be alive if you'd stop them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new Republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. Uh, I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. I'm here to kill you. We need to destroy the artifact. Oh, man. That's true, I am here to kill her. But we also need to destroy this artifact, yeah. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Alexios. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. That's it? Alexios, there is much left to do now. What? Alexios! A storm is coming. I can weather any storm. What? Is that it? What? That's it? Really? And level 58, baby. Hey! Holy crap! Cultist defeated, Aspasia. Sweet. Now, what's next? Anything? Nothing? Really? Wow, that is it, guys. Holy crap. Okay, well, I guess that's why it continues onward and forward with the DLCs. So it's not yet over, guys, but that is the main story of the regular Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best and only Assassin Nation family on YouTube. Going big and growing strong. I love you all. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the Assassin Nation family today. I'd be honored to have you, and as always, I will see all of you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on this series, it truly means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Assassin4259, out.